Hey, what's up guys? Aiden here. Today we're going to be having a look at Floyd Mayweather and Deji as they got a fight coming up next month. So next month is in November indeed. So let's jump straight into this one. We've got um, on the screen right now is Deji. And um, yeah, I've tweaked the formula that we made live on stream a while ago to improve it around the face area especially. So let's jump straight into this one. And I hope everyone's having a good day today. So we're going to be jumping in with hair number nine, brows number nine, facial hair one, and body hair one. Guys, let me know as well what you think. Is Deji waiting over his head here, taking on Floyd Mayweather, just coming off one win? Um, I don't know. I think he is, to be honest. But let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Jumping in here, we've got template number 22. And then follow what you see on the screen to get the same results. So I think the Deji calf turned out quite well. Um, it's not too much in terms of tattoos either. So it's not particularly complicated one, which is quite nice. Obviously, we can't add glasses because it's not like an accessory in the game as far as i know but um let's just have a quick look at the tattoos and then we'll jump on to floyd which is a little bit more complicated but still it's all right not too bad so i've got um this animals number seven as one of the eyebrow sections and then i've got another animals number seven as the other eyebrow section let me just hit a hadouken give me one of them and give me a shuriken as well thank you very much all right carrying on there so we've got those two for the eyebrows and then for the clothing i went for the blue uh old school blue henna blue and for the mouthpiece i went for ice it's ice cold so jumping into the next one now let's have a look at floyd floyd is a lot more difficult i think this is my third no this is my second version of floyd um alvin jars made a version as well and there's a bunch of others floating around on youtube i think this is the closest i've got to it so let me know your thoughts guys if you've got any feedback as well he is down here floyd mayweather so let's jump into this one now so floyd mayweather for the stance i gave him kelvin gastelum and kelvin gastelum looks like yeah it's got this with the hands down and he's kind of just like measuring, measuring, checking out his opponent from range. And then there's Junior Dos Santos as well, if you want to give him a little bit of roll to it as well. And yeah, let's jump into the face, man. The face is very difficult on this one. I'm not going to lie, it is quite a difficult one. I've gone back and forth a lot, but this is kind of what I settled on for now. I might tweak it later on. For the eyebrows, you've got two options. You can either go for... See, see, Browse 10, you know, I'm going to settle with Browse 10. I, I've, I've been battling this whole time, this whole video, just lead up to it between Browse, Browse 10 and Browse 9. But I'm going to settle with Browse 10 in the end. For the facial hair, we're going for facial hair 18 and chuck tattooing over it. If you want to check the tattoos that are done, that's pretty much the shape of it. And um, I fattened his face out to make the beard kind of work a bit better. For the body hair, I didn't give him any body hair. And then it's all black for the tattoos. For the eyes, we're going for eyes dark brown. For the body type... It was body four or it was body, I believe, body seven. I was battling between those two, so body four or body seven. Leave it up to you guys. For the tone, I went for tone nine. He's somewhere between tone nine and tone 10. I've got some um, tattoos on top as well. It's up to you what you want to do there. For the head, I've gone for template number 21. And this is the part where I was struggling because A, he looked a bit like Tyron Woodley, this face template by default. And B, he's looking a bit like Shaquille O'Neal as well. Like there's a calf that we made on the channel for Shaquille O'Neal. So it's like, I'm, I'm trying to not go near those two, but at the same time, every time i find myself making tweaks i'm like oh shit i just made his nose look a bit more like t woodley or especially with a beard as well but i think we got there in the end with this one let me know your thoughts guys obviously we've got a lot of tattooing to get through so let's start with the arms nice and easy got shapes number 19 for each of the arms just wrap it around it's just a tone modifier you can possibly go one to the right i went one to the right you can probably go two to the right or three to the right we'll try it at the end we'll see what happens and then next up we've got yeah there's quite a lot of detail on the face and again, like I said, this is probably my best Mayweather that I've made so far. There's also Alan Jarl's version if you want to check out a younger version of Mayweather that is on the channel. Angel and Demons number six, I've got going around the facial hair. And just I just like kind of pasted it around really, just trying to fill it all in. Because um, he's got quite a scruffy kind of looking beard section around that face, that part of his face. Um, and what I did as well, I had a different facial hair selected and then I changed it later on. So that's why I've got these layering around the lips. You might not need to do the layering around the lips. I'll leave that up to you guys. And then, uh, yeah, Angels and Demons number one gives it that kind of furry look compared to some of the other ones that you could be using. So let's just see how many I've done. Quite a few, yeah. Just work your way around with that one. And then I'll show you where I've swapped it. Okay, let's go to the eyebrows next, actually. So eyebrows, I've gone for Animals number seven. And again, you know, I'm going to dash it back a little bit on the D-pad. And then let's have a look over here. We've got Animals number seven as well. And this is kind of important. This this bit is important. You've got to get the eyebrows right because eyebrows actually play such a big, big part of whether you can recognize a face or not do you know what i mean so just have a look at some reference photos of him animals number seven is what i've used just have a look at some reference photos and just see see how you find it like see where see where it suits you know what i mean i'm gonna pull this one in a little bit here and then on the other side i've got a little bit there's a little bit of tail on the end of his eyebrows and then yeah i've tried to like curve them back in again 
towards the mid. Um, and yeah, there's my skin tone modifier. On top of that, I've got shapes number one, which I have no idea where that is. Oh yeah, because that was a different hairstyle, so I don't need to worry about that one. Next up, we've got angel and demons number one, around the chin area. Another one there. And on the other side as well. And I just kind of filled it in. That's kind of the other layer for the facial hair. It's like facial hair part two or something. When I decided actually, hang on, it needs to get a bit more. So I'll just work my way around. Looks like we've covered most of it. And then, yeah, I've tried to fade it in towards his hairline um, by pressing D on the uh, left on the D-pad to try and make it a little bit thinner as it goes. So it's a little, out, a little bit alpha channel there. Um, and then, yeah, and then I've chucked on this uh, shapes number nine to give it a little uh, a little more fullness, I guess. It just it just helps to blend it all together. It helps to like stick it all together. And then similarly on this side and on the chin here, yeah, so that was it for the facial hair, I think. Um, I've got this eye shape, and then you press L on the D-pad, L and right on the D-pad, press down, to get to a little dot, and then just put that under there. Um, and then similarly, on the other side of his face, I've got one, which is sitting sort of right under his eyebrow there. Not necessary, but up to you. Clever font number nine, I've got a line going across the forehead, another line going across the forehead here. And then one going down the middle, sort of a vertical one. Other than that, we've got another horizontal one going across his forehead. And yeah, I was going to do like eye darkener kind of thing. But I don't know if I did it in the end. Let me just see. No, I took it off. So you can ignore those two steps. Um, animals number seven, we've got over here. Which is linking his facial hair to his head. So a little bit more beard. And I tried to do the same on the other side as well, just to tidy it up a bit. Use the animals number seven. Because they want to fade it like with the same kind of pattern style as what the hairline has. Then I've got this um, shapes one over his lips, just to give it a slight darken. And I think that's it for Floyd. So let's have a look at his clothing. Went for the teeth. Um, obviously, the other one probably the gold, but you can't really see it under his lip anyway. But yeah, yeah I reckon they're looking alright. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's, it's a very difficult cap. I'll be honest. This, this one's quite a difficult one because of the head shape of Floyd as well but I think we got there in the end the aim was that he doesn't because this face template looks so much like Tyron Woodley by default when you put a beard on it I was like I think it's based off Tyron Woodley that face template so I think we got there in the end man I'm quite happy with that actually alright guys catch you guys in the next one man thank you so much for watching I'm Aiden and I'm out of here peace